Hey, what's up? It's DJ Mac, and here's a quick little thing that I found out about Tractor and Serato. Um, here's the reason why I'm probably going to choose Tractor over Serato, um, mainly because of its usability and its flexibility. Tractor just has way more flexibility in terms of uh, backing up uh, your just your entire library, and it's really, really helpful uh, for the fact that you can back up any time uh, you close out Tractor. So let's say, for instance, you delete, um, you know, any of your uh, playlists or whatever, and you close out, it saves that, what you just did, right? And you're like, then you reopen it, and you're like, crap, you know, I deleted a whole bunch of stuff, I didn't mean to do that, or for some reason, Tractor just acts haywire, and just kind of um, deletes a lot of your uh, playlists and whatnot, or even just how your songs are organized. You can always go back in time with Tractor. Always. Um, I was helping someone out uh, last night, and for the life of me, they you know they were using Serato, and for the life of me, I couldn't figure out why there was no songs in their crates, meaning like their crates weren't even showing up. So I went to the actual crate file in the underscore serato underscore and even in the backup uh the underscore serato backup and there were you know you click inside the crates it'll tell you the songs the the crates um that are in serato and none of them were showing up which was just weird i've never seen that happen um you know we tried uh you know erasing the uh serato one and replacing it with the with the backup but just just by erasing you know, just by renaming it Serato, and it'll pop up, but it didn't pop up back to where he had it. Um, so, you know, I suggested for him to, you know, just contact Serato, see what they can do, but I've never seen that happen. Um, was, what was even weirder was that his sub-crates appeared, but his uh, cr regular crates just weren't, the, the crate file was completely empty, um, which I've never seen before, it just it was just bizarre. But, um, you know, like I was telling him, you could just, in Tractor, it's super easy. You just go over to uh, Track Collection, right, if you want to get, um, if you want to go back in a certain time where you had everything, like let's say like two days ago, everything was working fine, you can go back to two days ago, because every time you close Tractor, it backs up that particular time, that particular state in time. So, you just go over to Import Another Collection. Then it brings you to the, the tractor um, folder right here. Um, it should bring you right here to to the track to the latest uh, track that that you're using. So if it doesn't bring you here, just search um, for the the tractor uh, version that you're using. So I'm using the tractor 3.1.0 uh, um, at this time of this video. But the main thing is that you just go to where it says history and you just find the date that you want to go back to um, I'm not going to double click it because um, I want to you know stay in the state that I am right now but let's say if something were to go wrong right now and I knew that um, it even tells you the date like history right here that you know 2019 that's the year that's why it says why uh, the first month was just, uh, January and the day which is 25th uh, the 20 it even goes down to the to the seconds and hours so there's the 23rd hour on the 43rd minute on the 32nd second it it's like very precise and you just you know you open it double click it whatever and then um it'll take a while for it to you know regenerate but it will regenerate um and you know within an hour or so depending on how long how much stuff you have it will start to regenerate back to that time and then you're all set and then you know if you want everything kind of uh like your favorites and stuff back you just you know just go back to uh import and then you import um you import those settings let's go to import and you just go to um you can go to default settings or however the settings that you had uh saved but you just go back to the to the settings that you had and then that's it. It'll it'll go back exactly the way you had it. Um, I mean, this isn't new. It's you can go on 
Serato uh, Tractors um, website, uh, Native Instruments, and it, it'll tell you step by step how to do this. Even if you just Google search it, it'll tell you step by step how to do this. But it's just the easiest way to get everything back exactly the way you had it on a on a specific date, you know. And it's a huge time saver. You don't have to worry about like, you know deleting one file just to it's it's no nonsense here like with tractor it's seriously no nonsense like they they you're when you every time you close it literally backs up everything you know um and that's a huge deal you know when something isn't working and you're like wait my stuff it doesn't look like the way that it looked you know 10 minutes ago after i finished closing it you can always go back you know um, two days or th 30 seconds before it even happened, you know, and then it'll bring it back exactly the way that it looked. You know, I had an issue before, like I had a folder where it had like an X mark here and I was freaking out. I'm like, wait, what's going on? Then I, then I thought about it. Let me just go back in time. And then I did the same thing uh, as I just explained to you and everything worked exactly the way that, um, that I had it at that particular time. So, yeah, if you're considering Tractor, I would seriously highly consider it because it will definitely help you. I mean, Tractor has stacked waveforms now, so, you know, for the people that were just like, oh, I couldn't get used to Tractor, it has stacked waveforms. So if you if that was the deal breaker, it no longer is the deal breaker in terms of, uh, uh, like, a good GUI. Um, but I, I don't know what more to say, like, if man I, I don't know because it's it's a huge thing because especially if you spend a lot of time organizing your crates and everything like that definitely get that um i also use um two other programs the uh dj uh cu i think it's called um let me see if i could find it here yeah the dj cu i have that and then i have uh record buddy you know all things to really back up your stuff because and you know you always have an extra hard drive an extra couple of hard drives of your music backed up anyways so uh, and also I use another program um, let me show it to you it actually helps so that way um, you can easily back up uh, like backing up your stuff becomes a lot easier um, i trying to remember the name to the to the actual product um, here it is drop sync 3 um, that literally makes it so that way you can back up anything new that that comes up uh, pretty easy to use and especially if you got two hard drives and you don't want to keep deleting an entire hard drive just to back it up or just to, um, you know replace uh, the new files it literally will keep track of like the last time that, that you backed up a certain um, hard drive so just makes it, everything a lot easier and you just don't gotta worry about um, the hassle of deleting stuff you just you just literally just update one um, you know if you got a whole bunch of new songs in like two months you can back it up very easily so but yeah um, I hope this definitely helped you and yeah, I, I highly consider like, you know, I'm not saying stop using Serato, but I would also back up your stuff on tractor and learn to use tractor. It's very easy, but I would definitely learn to use it in case something like that were to happen. Cause I, um, the same collection that I have on tractor is in Serato. So no matter what music's going to be played and you know, I'm going to have my music backed up and the way that I organized it so every all the crates and stuff the way that it looks like in tractors the way it's the same way it looks like in Serato so um, and that's thanks to um, what was it the uh, record buddy so definitely get record buddy it definitely helps uh, mimic uh, both softwares so that way you're you're kind of looking at the same thing but yeah sorry for the long little ramp but it, it definitely helps. So, all right. Peace out, everybody. Enjoy your day.